Paradise Point. I don't know, 34, 35 foot triple slide rear living room here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Just came in on trade. Uh, all in all, pretty decent coach. Uh, it's definitely been used. And uh, again, I shoot stuff straight when I put these videos together, especially on used RVs. It's got some cosmetic stuff, little cosmetic things here and there, but they're minor and mechanically, she's sound as a pound. They uh, you know, used it quite a bit. They simply traded up to a, a bigger fifth wheel, a newer one basically. And uh, as a result, if you're looking for uh, you know, like a good seasonal lot type fifth wheel or something like that, this, this is a great solution to be able to have a big fifth wheel that's not gonna cause you to go broke. You see that big drop frame's giving you that huge full pass through storage and it does pass all the way up front. We do have an enclosed heated belly on here. Uh, this is a Crossroads product. That's actually the uh, that big circular symbol with the X's on there. That's the old Crossroads logo. They've since changed their their you know logo, but that's what it looked like. Um, this was their uh, their top level fifth wheel, basically. It was kind of the thing that went against like your big um, Fleetwood um, what prides and things like that. But their their top end fifth wheels. Uh, the slide awning toppers are in good shape. Actually, we ran this thing through a whole quality check because we said you know there's there's some real good life and potential left in this fifth wheel. Um, you can see you know there's still some really good sheen and shine on the exterior it needed a little bath when it first came in we took care of that it needed new awning fabric when it came in we took care of that we ran it through a full um quality inspection basically um everything seems to be checking out like i said mechanically it's good can't find anywhere there's been any leaks it just it needed a bath and it needed a couple little i don't know freshens up here and there we took care of that stuff she's ready to go Front and rear caps are nice. They give you that real, you know, high-end look and feel, which obviously this product was intended for that when it came out. Uh, when this was built, a lot of brands weren't using tinted windows like you see here. That's a little more common and standard today, uh, but not at the time this was made. 36 foot is what this is telling me down here. So there we go, 36 something or other. Um, I think I told you, but it weighs 10,825. So 10,825 pounds. Uh, little detail things I've learned to look for, indicators over time, like all the original owner's manuals. That's a good indicator that the folks, again, took care of this thing because people who don't care will just throw the books away. They don't care. Dual opposing slides, and this is before islands became all the rage. This is a classic side entertainment kitchen slide floor plan. And frankly, it's one I wish they would bring back because it gives you so much room and space and a deceptively good kitchen that people don't understand. And here's what I like, and again, it's funny how the old became new again. Right here you've got this nice hide-to-bed sofa facing directly across from the entertainment center. You know what's really popular today? A theater seat that sits directly across from the entertainment center. This, my friends, is the predecessor to today's modern fifth wheels. I'm sure at one point there were a pair of recliners back here. Uh, they look The factory chairs look to have been removed because that's a residential recliner that's been put in its place. Um, what's kind of nice about just having the one is you can really kick the thing out and give you the nice view of the entertainment center over here. There's no neck cranking required. Uh, we went through, we restrung all the shades, and it has both day and night shades. So, again, everything is in great working order. You're going to see, uh, like, the exterior decals, they show a little age, a little weathering. Big deal. Those are just stickers. The actual things, like the fasteners that hold the RV together, they're in good shape. Electric fireplace takes care of your space heating. And this is what I mean. There's a deceptive amount of kitchen storage going on here, and you see more above. And I love that huge skylight. This is cool. I started opening stuff up. There's actually multiple drawers and little segmented storage inside that one. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, this is also washer dryer already over here. That's what this big tall closet is. Although you could obviously just use it as a double double decker like entry closet. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, classic split bath upper deck. And that's one of the reasons this weighs 10.8 as opposed to like 12,000 pounds because doing this split bath allows you to save a ton of weight and space essentially. You don't have to stretch the RV near as much. What is nice is if you notice, the bed slide actually encompasses this extra closet right over here. This huge extra wardrobe, that's all in the bedroom slide out. Gives you that extra space. Very tall person friendly shower as well. Now, modern day big fifth wheels are 50 amp service. Uh, this is kind of built before that was really a, a common thing, though it does still maintain the ability to have a second air conditioner, um, which is nice. Uh, you see that the uh, big fan up here, that uh, max air fan was used for some good airflow, and they've got good headboard breeze windows going on here. Good dresser space down there. You know, today's fifth wheels always seem to have washer dryer prep in the front closet. This one obviously has it in that main deck. But what's nice is if you do decide to put one in and it's running, 
thing at night, it's not going to keep you awake. Um, you know, even the little bathroom closet area here was in pretty sharp shape. You know, it had a decent look to it. Uh, what I mean by little cosmetic stuff, like we noticed a piece of trim here missing. We didn't bother replacing trim. We didn't need to pay a tech, you know, $105 an hour to replace a little trim when it doesn't physically affect the function of the unit. Anything that would affect how the trailer actually functioned, we took care of. Other than that, we gave it a bath and here she is. So again, mechanically sound, great condition. If you want little cosmetic updates like that taken care of, we can do it. But rather than invest the money in the RV that some people may not care about, or maybe you can handle the little things yourself at home and save a lot of money, we took care of the big hard stuff so that you don't have to. So again, nice, clean, and I mean clean, um, and mechanically uh, sound fifth wheel here. That would just, like I said, be, I just look at this, I'm thinking someone's going to park this on like a seasonal lot by a lake and just have a ball with it. So give us a call, learn more. 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.